And uh, there are some exercises uh, and every level I think is related with one of the factors of the process of immigration which was described by Dr. Yu. Okay? The first well, uh, in Ayun, the book of Dr. Yu is described uh, something like a map of the unconscious. And he considered the self, which is represented by a point in the top, the shadow, which is a process which starts with the dark side of the personality, and, and, uh, and a clean and bright uh, personality, which would be male or female, very clear in the dark. Then after that, you go to the next strata, which is the level of the cop, the royal cop, or the Sisyphia too. It's about the moment in which you really discover how you are blind to the deep factors of the other gender. If I am a man, I'm going to discover how everything I can say about women is just Speculation is not really true. And if I really want to know how a woman sees the world, I need to accept the lady as my master to teach me about the other side of the world. Uh, it's the discovery of the character of the other gender. Okay? Then, when you learn about the other side of the world, simultaneously you are going to receive some training, but not for you, but for a factor which is inside you, which belongs to the other side of the world. It's the animal for us and the animals for we. Uh, usually, animals and animals are not so nice. Bees are very wild. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you need to paint. But I don't have the tricks to tame my animal. Because I don't know about the female nest. I need a woman to, to teach her. And vice versa. And it creates a new framework when you have a couple relationship is not a relationship between two persons. It's a relationship between four persons. Two persons and the unconscious and two persons and the unconscious. And on the level of the shadow, you can work by yourself. But when you go in the level of the royal couple, you need a teacher of the other side of the world. Okay? can be your wife, but not necessary. can be just a good friend, okay? Without any uh, love affair between you and her. And there are several nice cases, like the case of oh, Santa Teresa de Avila in Spain and San Juan de la Cruz. They were a couple who developed themselves. There are Catholic saints. Or another case is uh, St. Francis of Assisi and Frate Jacopo de Sepisoli. He was the parent of St. Francis and she teach him about the female side of the world, etc. But at the end of this process emerged a relationship between four factors. And it takes you to the next level which is described as the strata of the self, which is start with this famous symbol, which is one of the main discoveries of this period, is the Mandala symbol. Uh, in the Andes, 
this symbol is very important. The name in the Indian tradition is Tawani. Tawani means four. Tawani means four united. And this is a precise description of the idea of Tawani. Four factors united, integrated, and all. And even the Inca Empire, this big empire which grows in South America, was the Tawanti Sui, which means the four nations united. Uh, usually the scholars say the Inca Empire was divided in four provinces. No, are the four nations united? Because the declination thing means with. Four within. Okay? Tawanti. Well. And uh, this is a factor which emerged as a sign of the beginning of the third strata of the unconscious according to Dr. William. And finally, you have the tree of light, which is a symbol of the devil of the self. Well, uh, we organize symbols and side of an A because for us this is the abstract symbol of the metaphysical God of Indus, we are watching. Even today we have an icon which is the egg of stone like this, which is the image of Miracocha, the metaphysical God of Indus. When I'm, when I'm speaking about the metaphysical God I'm speaking about the critical discovery and the process of development or evolution of religions. It's like the discovery which was made by Moses under the name of Yahweh in Hebrew, of course, or the same thing than or the same being which was discovered by Heraclitus of Ephesus under the name of the universal law. You need the same that Moses, but of course different name in Greek. Or is the Adi Buddha, which was discovered by Siddhartha Gautam, or is the invisible Tao, which was discovered by Lao Tzu, or is Allah, uh, who meet uh, Muhammad, metaphysical. Is a being or a principle which is beyond the physical, which is beyond the tangible things. A solar god is not a metaphysical god yet, it's one step. But the next step is to discover that. And apparently, this metaphysical being or principle revealed himself to somebody who takes his name, Virapocha Inca probably in the 14th century, the two centuries before the arrival of the, of the Spaniards to South America. Anyway, uh, we decided to put it inside this image of an egg because it's the symbol which represents the image of the metaphysical God. But because, but how this is something which presents the image of the wholeness. And the whole process of integration, according to Dr. Liu, is the process in which you look for your completeness. And probably it is going to accomplish totally after your experience with the uh, tree of life or something. <coughs> In the upper strata, you have the ego. According to Dr. Jung, this is the center of your consciousness. The ego is the center of your consciousness. Everything you can relate with your ego is part of your consciousness. Everything you cannot is part of your consciousness. 
the development of the ego, the solid one, is related with what we call runa. Runa is just a human being. A normal human being is a runa. A human being. Not, runa is not only a man. Runa is a woman. We have the word Kali for male human beings and Warmi for female human beings. This is another. Runa is a human. And this is the first level or the zero level, the basic level of the process of growth according to the attitude. Before you are as a common person, you are not performing any spiritual art, or you are not committed with any growth, you are a Buddha, and so forth. Uh, when you are a Buddha and you decide to start a spiritual work, you are going to receive two basic exercises. Next. The first is Sanchakwi, and the second is Saiwacha. As you remember, you need to use only your intention. According to the tradition, we are surrounded by a bubble of energy. The Indians call it Ojo, which means yes, um. But if you want to compare, it's equivalent to the notion of the Eastern aura, or maybe in the Western civilization, the Kyrian field, which is because we can take the picture or so by taking your ways. But every one of us is surrounded by a bubble. And according to the tradition, we are the really owners of our bubble. Nobody can mess with our bubbles without our permission. Okay? It's like having a field but surrounded by a skin. And this skin is like a filter who prevent you to have connection with energies which are not compatible with yourself. Yeah? But being the owner, you have the key to open it or close it, to take it to the extreme. Even God need your permission to go in your bubble. If you decide to close that, even to come, you are entitled to do it. For some strange reason, he or she gave us the free will. And the place in which we can use the free will is our bubble. We are the real owners of that. Maybe we are the owners only real owners of that in life, but I think it's an act. You are the real owner of something like that. 